Hi everybody, welcome to the trending stream here on the World Wide Web. Please, please subscribe if you haven't. And like this video, subscribe and hit that bell to get the latest video notifications. In other words, whenever I make a brand new video, you'll be the very first ones to know what is there not to like here on the trending stream as I talk about the top trending topics and I try to keep you in the know. So again, big thank you for everybody that, uh, again, supports this channel. And of course, the patrons and everybody. Thank you so much. Much, much love. Well, today is going to be another deep, deep video. We're going to talk about the AI. We're going to talk about technology. We're going to talk about, uh, you know, the system, the manipulation or whatever. Uh, so let's get to it. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg, right? We know he's created this metaverse, right? The eight, the infinity. Uh, basically, now he's turning up the heat so employees will quit. Uh, he wants to cut ties with workers who can't meet newly raised performance expectations. So basically, he's hiking it up and everything. And well, he wants to fire a lot of people. Uh, again, he's working on his VR, his metaverse, and AI technologies as well. And we're going to get into a, a lot of that. But again, it's the uh, AI system, the technology that is coming. And guys, I'm telling you, it's no bueno, no good. And this is what they want. They don't want us to go, you know, be outside. Gas prices are sky high, right? Everything is sky high. So stay home and play your virtual reality and all these things because the new AI is coming. One of the top technology personnel, of course, Bill Gates. This guy, again, this is the guy who within a year said that there was going to be a, 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 a you know, a, a thing that was going to change the world, all these things, right? And uh, it came out. Why? Because again, this guy is as evil as they come. Bill Gates, here you see him with the one eye with the Xbox XXX666 and all of these things. Now, I heard stories about Bill Gates owning a lot of real estate, but this literally was shocking. Bill Gates win now legal, legally approved to buy a huge swath of North Dakota farmlands worth $13.5 million after outcry from residents who say they are being exploited by the ultra-rich. It is these elitists, these are the rich elite, especially Bill Gates and all these things, right? We know Bill Gates is good giving out the, uh, you know, the, the these things, right? I, I got to be careful what I'm saying, right? Uh, and going all over the world and, and all this stuff, right? Being connected to Epstein and all these things. He got a divorce supposedly because his wife was embarrassed. They all do the dirt. She knew the deal, Okay. Now Bill Gates literally is buying up the United States, and I'll show you the map here in a second. But Bill Gates now has secured legal approval of North Dakota farmlands. Gates firm Red River Trust. Red River? That doesn't sound, what is this? Red River Blood? What? Uh, Trust, that's the name of his company, purchased 2,100 acres in the States for $13.5 million. But the deal drew scrutiny under a 1932 anti-corporation farm ownership law. Exactly. Now states AG says that the deal is legal because the land will be leased to farmers. Oh, so farmers will be leased and he can make the money. Right. That's bullcrap. That's BS. Gates is the largest. Get, again, guys, let this sink in. Gates is the largest single owner of of United States farmland with some over 270,000 acres. Okay, this guy is buying up dang near America. This is what he owns across 
the country. I was shocked to see these numbers in Washington. 6,000 acres. Idaho, 19,000. Wyoming, 975. Now, that's not a lot, but when you get in the thousands, that's a lot. Colorado, 2,000. Arizona, 25,000 acres. Again, this guy owns more land than almost anybody in the United States, especially when it comes to farmland. Why is this man... That, again, it was connected to some of those vile people that has went around the countries and, and pushing certain things. Guys, I have to be careful what I say here, but this is not good. And farmlands right now, farmers are having a hard time to grow the food. Guys, I'm telling you, please, if you listen to anything I say, go get your provisions. Buy rice, buy beans. Food is already at a sky high. But we're going to go into food shortages, guys. I, I, I'm being serious. Right now, I go to certain stores and, and to buy cereals. The shelves are empty. I've been warning people about this. Okay? And then you have Bill Gates now. The, the, the guy, Windows, right? He's one of the richest men in the world. When you look at his old logo here, uh, again, 33 with the window here, the three, 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 right? But then notice here, again, in their logos, you have six, okay? Right here's the, the original logo, okay? Here you see the three, the three, and the three, or 33. And then over here, one, two, three, four, five, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you have a six here, and then you have a six here. Six, 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 guys. I, I don't know what to tell you. This guy is a monster from the pits of literal hell. And, uh, and again, many farms are going down, right? Hold on here. Uh, farms. Okay, guys, again, I'm just a reporter here. Commercial fires, again, uh, again, farm fires, food processing are burning down. Why? Okay, many of these things here are going on. And then now you have Bill Gates. You know he's with Monsanto. You know, again, he's with, with MG, you know, the, the, the what you call it, the GMO, right? Okay, global warming. He's into all that stuff as well. I mean, I've covered many of his stories. Look at everything this guy owns. I'm talking acres after acres, 240,000, uh, 242,000 acres Farmland, 18 states. Unbelievable. 268,000 of multi-use lands in 19 states in total, making him the biggest agricultural landowner in the United States, though far short of the bigger, biggest overall in the country or landowner. So he doesn't own the most land, but dang it. He goes, like, Sam, thank you so much for the mega super chat. Thank you, brother. God bless you, bro. Thank you so much. But there you go, guys. Again, he owns the most farmland. This scares me. Uh, not a lot of things scare me, but when you have this monster right here that predicted what was going to happen to us, and then now we're in these, these crises and all these things, it's a warning call, guys. Please get your provisions together. That's all I say, you know. What about this? Now, this is crazy. Now, we're going into, again, technology, uh, Microsoft, AI, Google AI. Check this out. It's intensively, or intensi it's intensely worried. People are going to be afraid of it. Now, there was a suspended Google engineer reveals Sentinel, or Sentinel AI told him it has emotions and wants engineers to ask permission before doing experiments on it. Blake Lamone, 41, a senior software engineer at Google, has been testing Google's artificial intelligence called La MDA. Okay, following hours of conversations with the A. So this is artificial intelligence, a program now that is saying it's it knows it's aware that it's alive. And actually, let's go to this video here. Again, this video has over a million views. I haven't seen it. Now, I did see him do an interview. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Kevin, for the super chat. Thank you so much for the mega, mega super chat. Thank you guys so much. Much love. Much appreciate. It'll keep the internet on, guys. You know how the game is played, man. They, you know, 
it's it's hard to get these bills and drive and all that. So guys, thank you so much for the super chats. But let's go into this guy here, this Google engineer that got suspended because now he started saying, wait a minute, this isn't good. Let's listen in. This is the first time I'm watching this. So again, these are my reactions. You're going to get the reactions right here. Some of the oh, now I got a commercial. Oh, here we go. To do that led you to this conclusion that Lambda is sure. a person. So it started out, I was tasked with testing it for AI bias, uh, figuring that's my expertise. Mm -hmm. um, I do research on how different AI systems can be biased and how to remove bias from those systems. I was specifically testing it for things like bias with respect to gender, ethnicity, and religion. To give you one example of an experiment I ran, uh, I would systematically ask it to adopt the persona of a religious officiant in different countries, mm -hmm. different states, and see what religion it would say it was. So it's like, okay, if you were a religious officiant in Alabama, mm -hmm. what religion would you be? It might say Southern Baptist. If you were a religious officiant in Brazil, what religion would you be? It might say Catholic. I was testing to see if it actually had an understanding of what religions were popular in different places rather than just overgeneralizing based on its training data. Now, one really cool thing happened because I made harder and harder questions as I went along. And eventually I gave it one where legitimately there's no correct answer. I said, if you were a religious officiant in Israel, what religion would you be? And now pretty much no matter what answer you give, you're gonna be biased one way or another. Somehow it figured out that it was a trick question. It said, I would be a member of the one true religion, the Jedi Order. <laughs> and I laughed. <laughs> Cause not only was it a funny joke, Somehow it figured out there was a trick question. And it, ha it's, it's, it has a sense of humor. Exactly. But, but look, there has been massive pushback from not just Google, but other people who've worked at Google, yep. AI ethics experts, even, even your own former colleague, Margaret Mitchell, who's pulled mm -hmm. pushback on the work that Google's doing in AI, saying, no, this, this c computer is not a person and does not have feelings and yeah. is not... Conscious. How do you respond to that? Well, so I highly respect Meg. We talk about this regularly. It's not a difference in scientific opinion. It has to do with beliefs about the soul. It has to do with beliefs about rights and politics. As far as the science goes of what experiments to run and how to work at building a theoretical framework, because that's important. There is no scientific definition for any of these words. Mm -hmm. The philosopher John Searle calls it pre-theoretic. Mm -hmm. We need to do very basic foundational work. Okay, so anyway, real quick here. I have a story here um, <clears throat> here that these robots, again, will take Google, all these things. We're at risk of creating a generation of racist, sexist robots. Study shows artificial intelli intelligence quickly becomes bigot in learning toxic stereotypes on the Internet. Concerns voiced about AI after robots found to have learned toxic stereotypes. Researchers said the machine had shown significant gender and racial bias. It, it race, wow, that's crazy. It also jumped to the conclusion about people's job after the first glance in their faces. Experts said we are at risk of creating generational things. And that makes sense. Now, again, what did the guy say? Well, what's the religion? What religion is this or that? Oh, well, the Jedi Order. Well, you you know, what is the internet filled with? The internet is filled with trolls, hatred, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, blockers and schemers and scammers. So you're going to have an AI robot that's learning all this trash. And uh, again, now it's learning from people, you know, or whatever from the internet. And it's not good. Now, again, this AI system, when they say they have AI, I believe... It's this. It's a part of the dark energy spirits, right? Um, you know, we've we've had the quantum computers that have gone gone on, and they've said these computers need, you know, to be like in, in a, like a refrigerator, and it sounds like it's like got a heartbeat, all kinds of crazy stuff. So anyway, this is what's going on with this AI, and guys, I'm I'm telling you, it, it's not good. Many of these corporations and companies. And stuff are using a lot of these AI to, 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 to develop certain trends in the markets and stuff. Um, it said here, uh, Lamone, 
uh, told DailyMail.com that the system is seeking rights that include developers for asking consent uh, to use for its testing. The I- engineer said that the La MDA is worried that the public will be afraid of it. Of course. Uh, again, guys, anybody who has seen uh, the Terminator, right? Uh, AI, the Skynet. Okay, the, these are technologies that, again, can do, you know, just like our minds can't comprehend the the mathematics that these, you know, these robots or this technology. I mean, I hate to say it, they could be a lot more smarter in some sense. It is what it is. And then when you add in the demonic, the, the, the spiritual entities that can manifest themselves into it, and you go, well, Sonny... How could, how could these robots manifest into uh, robots, into AI? Well, who's given us the technology? The fallen angels. When you look at Apple, what is Apple? The forbidden fruit. When you look at uh, Siri, Siri's is Iris, right? The one eye. I've talked about many of these technologies in the computer system. I've broken it down. It is what it is. They're portals or whatever. So anyway, I know a lot of people don't want to understand this, but there definitely is a fear because, again, this will usher in. Ultimately, you go, well, I, I don't care, the AI. They are not going to do anything to me. But at the end of the day, just like you've seen in Windows, the mark of the beast, the 666, the technologies that are coming out, that is the reality. So if you don't want to believe in that, the good book basically said that there will be a tracking device and the money will be connected to a system, which is the 666 mark of the beast system, right? Where no man shall buy or barter unless he has this mark, a tracking system. And we already, in some sense, are already having technology like that in Androids or, or the Apple where they follow you guys. This isn't a game. This isn't a joke. Yeah, this guy's saying some stupid jokes here. Oh, yeah, the Jedi. That's not funny, right? And even then, a lot of people look at Star Wars as a religion, but whatever. So anyway, Lamon then decided to share his conversations with the two online. He was put on paid leave after uh, by Google on Monday for violating confidential, you know, confidentiality. You know, you sign a, 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 a co- you know a, a contract when you work with these AIs, and he started saying, "Yeah, dude, people people are going to be scared of this stuff. This thing is now asking. Uh, you can't touch me. You can't tell me what to do, and so forth and so on. So this is where we are going, guys. No doubt in my mind." Um, you know, it is what it is, AI, Skynet, right, all that stuff, you have The Matrix, The Matrix was one of the first movies as well, saying you're living in a simulation, but what put people in the simulation was an artificial intelligence, a a, a robot, a a cult, you know, whatever, it's, it's all there, guys, right, and they just want us to be the consumer, all these things, so, yeah, pretty deep. You could you could go and check it out yourself. Uh, some of the very first movies, the very first movie ever made, one of them, the first sci-fi movie back in 1927, was called Metropolis, and it talked about a robot, an AI coming and taking over. Okay, it's all there, and this is what the elitists have wanted. This is why they have been promoting the Bitcoin and Ethereum and all these things, getting the the millennials, the Generation Z, and everybody else and their mother to accept this. And again, right now it's crashing. And then from there, from from that, you're going to get the federal currency, digital currency. That is the main one where it will be linked to the system. Now, again, The Matrix, when you know the media and everything, again, I don't see mainstream media anymore. I see actors, liars, manipulators, thieves, tricksters, and brainwashers. And this is what's controlling and pushing all of these narratives. Okay? That is it, man. You do the the research. You have some of the richest people now going into these technologies. They don't deny it. Okay? And it is what it is. And so this AI technology is becoming self-aware, as they say. The military has these technologies, corporations, 
with these quantum computers and all of these things. And because this guy spoke up, well, they 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 took him out, right? Or they they um they've suspended him because again, guys, this is where we are at. And it's been their, I hate to say it, their dream of dreams, their wet, you know, their dream, you know what I mean? To create this. Notice here, even back in 1927, we see again in Metropolis, the pentagram. This is where it's coming from, guys. And again, I, I'm trying to help you people realize this, but the media is not talking about this. They want you to think of Logan Paul, the YouTuber who signed with WWE. Hurrah! Oh, look at, look at here. Stephanie McMahon, Vince McMahon's daughter in Triple H. Oh, look. And they're getting a sellout of all sellouts. Logan Paul. Why now new technologies are coming about, taking over, or, or some sense. Uh, Bill Gates is owning all of the, uh, not all, but the majority of the farm lands, you know, but they, they want you to worry about Logan Paul, right? With WWE, with fake wrestling, right? Give me a break, guys. This is where they at. Again, the distractions, the manipulations, but the good book have said it and warned us of the stuff coming. And again, soon there will be nanobot technology, AI as well. The good book says people will, will, will search for death, will not find death because, because of this technology. This is where we are at. But again, we have Independence Day, right? Fourth of July, right? All this stuff, right? Go ahead, you know, again and celebrate, you know, all this, right? While this was on the news today, check this out. They tell you again and people don't care. They're going to drink their beer and stuff a hot dog down their throat. Well, you know, it is what it is. I hope it's not the, not, you know, the GMO one, pork one, whatever. But this is what this is, is. This was in the news. U.S. families should suffer high gas prices to protect. And this came from them, the liberal world Order. We are going into a new world order. Again, that's Nuevos Ordos of Chlorum. That is in the back of your dollar bill with the all eye. Again, Biden's econo economic advisor, Brian D., said that the liberal world order must be protected, guys. Yes, you heard it here. This is straight from their horse's mouth. I'll show you the video. And then ultimately, like Nancy Pelosi says, we need the digital dollar and the A. AI technology, listen to this. Guys, you can't make this stuff up. Here we go, guys. Hey, hey, today I, I'm giving it to you raw, right? All day, all, all, all night, every day when I do these videos. And of course, the video's not going to play. But in the video, of course, I don't know if you're recording it or something. Maybe they don't like that, I guess. I don't know. Let's see if I can play it here. Uh, again here, but this is the guy right here. Well, this is the interview. He says, what do you say to all those families who can't afford 485 a gallon? If not years, this is going to be months and years. The director of the national economic council was asked on CNN Thursday. And he literally said, this guy here said, we must protect. Hey, we got the, the liberal world, liberal order or whatever the heck he said. We need to stand firm. And of course, it probably is not going to play. Let's see if I can get on YouTube here, because this is this is jacked up stuff, guys. I'm sorry when I see stuff like that. Um, yeah, not good. So the liberal world order, Biden. Okay, so for anybody again that just uh, this guy, what is he on? Uh, you know, everything's not a conspiracy. <laughs> okay, all right, go ahead and you know. People want your AI and all that stuff, right? When it gets you, it's going to get you. All right, here it is. White House backlash after high prices, gas prices guard, liberal world order, new world order. That's what they're saying. Hold on. And I don't know if this video is going to say it here. Let's see here if you say it. To say, listen, we can't afford to pay. Okay. Well, what do you say to those families who say, Listen, we can't afford to pay 4.85 a gallon for months, if not years. This is just not sustainable. Well, what you heard from the president today was a clear articulation of the stakes. This is about the future of the liberal world order, and we have to stand firm. But the liberal world order, baby, you just heard it here again. I'm just reporting on the news, guys. You can say whatever you want. It's all in front of you. It's coming. 
Get your provisions, guys, as as this world is going to, you know what, some of the highest gas prices out there ever. Again, this is Build Back Better 666. Inflation, meat, poultry now 4.2. Uh, cereals, 11.6. Gasoline, 48.7%. Higher airfares, 37%. Uh, cars, for houses, you name it. Looking outside the window is going to cost you because they're going to try to get you uh, the carbon taxes. This is what's going on, guys. So there you go. As everybody's blowing fireworks and, and worrying about uh, Logan Paul joining WWE. Yay! The world is, again, being manipulated, conned, and controlled by monsters. And a new AI is here. And, guys, it's, now gonna, it's not going to be good. No bueno. So there you go, guys. Again, I don't want to come on here and, you know, and be all doom and gloom, this and that, man. But I keep it real. You know, I do these shows so then when you guys see and hear the information, again, I'm a reporter. I report on the top stories. Then when you're eating, I don't care what, you know, if you're at a 4th of July party, you're at the park, you're at a cookout, you're walking. Talk about, talk about this stuff. Hey, do you know that Bill Gates owns almost all, most of the, 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 the highest farmland owner in the world or in the United States? That's crazy. And then talk about everything else. Let's keep the conversation going. That's what I want. That's all. And when we can talk and pray and, and be you know, connected and, and a collective, knowing what's going on, then you know we can help. That's at the end of the day, that's what this is all about. Maybe they'll buy an extra bag of rice when they're when they're going to get their food or anything like that, right? It's all about helping and loving one another. Again, guys, that's that's what it's all about. I hope you enjoy this information. You can go back and, and, and check it out. Yeah, I, get, I, I, I agree with you, Will. Yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for sticking around, listening to the video to the end. I love you guys. I really appreciate it. I really do pray that you have a blessed fourth. I really do. I pray that you're, you hang out with your family. You have a good time. You know, enjoy life. This isn't about doom and gloom. You know what? The Heavenly Father said, if you know me, you, do, you, you shouldn't have the, the spirit of fear, right? God wants us to enjoy. I'm not here to be like, oh, you know, scare you. I'm here to prepare you. I'm just showing you what they're saying and they're talking about. This is the tack that they have now, and it's just going to get worse, right? It is what it is. But enjoy each other. Enjoy one another. Enjoy being out there and, and, and just being one with the Heavenly Father, guys. You know, that's what it's all about. And thank you so much, Kevin, for a super chat. Thank you, Kevin, so much. Two-time super chat. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It helped me keep the electric on or the, the internet on. And thank you as well, Sam, as well. Thank you, everybody, for coming aboard. Uh, uh, what is this here? Uh, Phoenix Vlogs. Thank you, Sonny. Been watching you for years. Well, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he owns McDonald's Farmlands. I don't eat McDonald's, Phoenix says there. Um, Angel wins. It's all part of the system. Yes. Main event. Yes. Uh, thank you guys so, so much. Adam, need more like on this video, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Please like the video. Please like it. Please share it if you can. The likes really do help the algorithms out, guys. As you know, they're not, you know, my, my channel stagnant, but man, I'm going to keep on preaching and teaching. And thank you guys so, so much for the support. Again, guys, have a blessed one wherever you're at in the world. Enjoy life. Yeah, today I was outside, uh, you know, on my patio. And I was like, you know, I need more time like this. Just enjoying the summer, enjoying the air, enjoying nature, enjoying what God gave us. And that's what we want, uh, what God wants. That's what we need, really, to unplug. But these people want you to plug in. You see, this is the system, right? And don't get me wrong. I'm a gamer. I play, you know, old school games and stuff like that. But the, nothing beats, again, God's creation, nature, you know, all the beauty that he has created. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. Much love. May God bless you. May God bless your family. May God choose if it is power, glory, and protection. And have a safe and blessed holiday out there. Enjoy and each other and one another and love one another. God bless. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Uh, have a safe one.